All right, I'm gonna go over how to create the theme short codes. So let's go ahead and just dive right in and create a page. And I'm gonna call these theme short codes. So um, let's go ahead and publish this page. And then let's view this page. And so when I say short codes, I'm referring to these short code buttons right here at the top. And if you hover over them for a second, they'll actually tell you what they are. So this first one's a button. These are all columns. And then we have at the end a toggle, a tab, and a divider. So um, let's go and just start left to right. <clears throat> so the button's pr pretty simple. So you got your button, and then you have a bunch of options. So link, of course, is pretty easy. It would be you can link to anything like google.com, whatever your URL is to your website. Target, that would be if you want to open it in a new window. If you don't know what that is, you can just leave that blank, but it just gives you an extra additional option if you choose to. <clears throat> then for size, you have small, medium, or large. And the most common one's going to be medium, so we just go ahead and let's go and do medium. <clears throat> and then for color, we have a list of colors, but it defaults blue, and so let's go and just uh, and then of course you can adjust your text there. So let's go and do learn more instead of text here. Let's view our button. And all that creates this cool button right here. And in our theme documentation, we actually have a list of the colors. But you can kind of see them right here. It'd be blue, light blue, green, red, orange, black, etc. So um, you can see the options of colors. So it'd just be progression blue, progression light blue, etc. So that's the button, you can play around with that. <clears throat> the next thing is the column short codes, and these are these are super easy to use. You can just do one half, and then obviously another half equals a full column. And I'm gonna go and just type in one half, so we can actually read what, what it looks like. <clears throat> and the only trick here is that this last needs to equal yes. So, um, if it's the last column. So if I don't do that, what happens is these columns won't float right. But if I mark ye instead of no to yes on the last column and we update that, then they float properly. So let me do that again for let's do the let's do one third. <clears throat> so we'll have one third, one third, and then a third. And the only one that we mark last equals yes is the last column the others stay the same <clears throat> and now when we refresh the page you can see we have one-thirds so it's really easy and then you can of course mix mix and match so you can have one-fourth and three-fourths and as I mentioned before only the last one needs to be marked yes so we refresh that and you have your one-fourth and three-fourths so it's pretty easy to make your different column layouts with those short codes, um, just feel free to play around with those. Then the next thing we have our is our um, tabs, and these are pretty easy as well. So you have your title of your tab, <coughs> and then text here is for your content of tab. And this one only has two options, and that's opened or closed. So let's go ahead and leave it closed first, and let's update it, and we'll refresh. And so you can see where the title displays, where you can adjust that, and where the content will display. And then obviously instead of closed, you could have had it be open as well. Kind of like the button, um, you have those options. And then tabs works pretty similar. <coughs> so you have tab one and then one content, and tab two and tab two content. So let's go and just view what it just generates automatically. So it's pretty easy once you view the front end what options go with what and of course you can just add more tabs as well so let's add a third tab let's call this one la new tab and then we'll just do new tab content and then it added a new tab content <clears throat> so it's really easy to add all of those things and play around with all that and the last thing is just a simple divider with no options so when we view that um, it might be hard to see on the screencast, but it just adds a little gray line divider. Um, so that is all of the short codes for our theme that are built in that can help you, um, you know, manage your content and all that kind of good stuff.